Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another Lords of the Fallen video. I actually do one of these every week now, so if you like the game, or you just like games, give us a sub and stay tuned for our weekly updates. Alright, so today we're gonna go farm our very own General Enstrom set, plus its weapon, plus the weapon skills. So, let's get to it. Right, so first off, let's go ahead and teleport over to the Vestige of Betrayed Iliard and just take this path all the way down. So good news everyone, uh, this quest actually takes a lot less time compared to the Radiant Armor set, since it doesn't require you to go to different places and kill a bunch of different mobs. Pass this gate, get to the tree, and do pledge to a deer to start the quest. Next, warp over to the vestige of Svornil. This place has both a first hand and a very key item to this quest, which is the snowball. So what you want to do is grab the snowball, uh, equip it, and throw it at the flaming hand to put it out. That there is the snowball and the hand is dangling up top. Next we're warping back to Betrayed Iliard again. Uh, yeah, it's not deja vu. Go ahead, take the same path, but at the fork make it left. See the hand, put it out, and on to the next. For the next one, warp back to base camp and take the back door from Skyrest Bridge.
Next hand is located at the Brannis Castle, so port over to the Vestige of Bloody Pilgrim. For the next hand, warp over to the Vestige of Hooded Antuli. Yeah, it's a fairly easy questline this one, it just requires a lot of running. But so is everything else in this game, right? This hand is actually the last hand. So after this, let's teleport back to the Shrine of a Deer Vestige. Again, we seem to be doing that a lot for this quest. And now it's finally time to face the boss. This guy is actually really really hard, he's super fast. I want to say he's the fastest boss I've encountered in this whole game. And he hits like a freaking truck. And he does AoE damage. So if you got a buddy, you might want to bring him along. I certainly couldn't hurt your chances. Now I took the liberty of cutting out the actual boss fight because I didn't want to ruin it with any spoilers, but all you gotta do here under the tree is do the emote Crimson Fervor and summon the boss. And now that the deed is done, all you gotta do is go back to the tree and do the laugh emote and you'll get the weapons as well. The last part was sort of a pain for me. I had to sit up for a couple hours and farm for Vigor and Duralium chunks. Since I'm low out of those and you need to get your weapon to both plus 10 to do the weapon skill. Weapon skill's not bad. It does a shorter range of what the boss does, actually a lot shorter, but hey what you gonna do right? Okay, I think this about covers it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys again soon.